Welcome back to Resident Evil 3. Uh, we... There's a lot of stuff that went on. We found Brad. He uh, warned us of a creature who was coming to kill all of the stars members, of which we are a part of. Uh, and we've uh, watched someone die, which isn't quite uncommon in a zombie apocalypse. So let's get to uptown. Uh, which is what direction? Um, so we want to go back left and then go right and then right. So this way. What was that? I feel like that door can come off. Uh, and then we want to go right this way. And then we want to go straight and right. And explore further. Up this way, because we haven't been this way. I'm liking the environments in this one. It's very, it's very well... Feels very well lived in. That's exciting. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Uh, can I... I'm gonna try and shoot that barrel, see whether that does anything. Oh, yeah, that did stuff. Still a lot of zombies left though. Are we good now? Are we good? Are we going to play dead now? Yes, we are. Alright, so we've got the red herb. So let's combine that with that, and then... Is it a dead end? Oh! Photo A. Policeman and pressing forward. This date is September 27th. You've taken the photo. Okay. Uh, is, is that it? Is that is a dead end? Oh, it's a door. Where's the door? Oh, there. It's been bound tight with rope and won't open. The rope seems to be soaked in oil. Maybe if we set it on fire. But it's soaked in oil. Oh, right. I haven't got any lighter oil in the... F oh, okay. Alright, well, we need to find oil then. So where do we find oil? Hmm. Where can we find oil? Maybe back at the warehouse? Oh shit. Oh shit. Where did all these zombies come from? There's oil in here, though. Hmm, okay. Well, at least we know where to go. Just gotta figure out how to get there. Uh, might save it. I'm not injured enough yet. See, the only places that we've explored is there, and then there's the warehouse. And the rest is just streets. Mm. 
Just now. Look, there's a side bit down there. Ah, oh, no, we never, we never did go down here, did we? No. Oh. Aha! That, to me, looks like some lighter. Oh, and a shotgun. Um, okay, so let's use health. Let's, can we use that? Oh, okay. Take the lighter oil, okay. And then we can combine that. And now we have a lighter. And now we have a shotgun. As well, even though I already have a shotgun. Okay, so now we need to go back. Oh, shit. I forgot about you. I do like the quick turn. Uh, am I heading the right way? Yeah, yeah I am. So now we can use the lighter to light the rope on with oil on it to burn it up so we can explore up north a bit more. So let's go that way, which was... Uh, that way, actually. I will get my head around where I'm going, eventually, and then we'll go to a different area. Definitely feels more fast paced though. She she can definitely run a lot faster. <laughs> and the zombies can definitely move a lot faster. Oh wow, that is a raging fire. Oh, that is a dog. Oh, another dog. Play dead. Thank you. Zombie dog. Zombie dogs I do not do well with. There's a fire hydrant. If I had a fire hose, I might be able to extinguish a fire over there. Okay, so I need a fire hose. Uh, let's go with... This one. Uh, looks like we have a safe room here. Oh, yeah, I should probably unload some items. That is a good point. Uh, let's get rid of some of the... I'll get rid of the shotgun. I'll get rid of that one, and I'll get rid of that one, and I'll get rid of those bullets. Yeah, that should do us. And I also get rid of these gunpowders as well. Because I'll probably need them a bit later on. So, that's sorted out. Let's go to... Uh, down the gates and further up uptown Raccoon City. Happy, happy uptown Raccoon City. Teeming with life, I hear. Uh, okay. I think I saw something move down here. Yes, I did. I saw the, the hydrant. Oh, yay! Ah, so that's the police department. Where we were in Resident Evil 2. Yeah. Oh shit. Well nah, you're fucked mate. Oh yeah. Fight with the monster or enter the police station. Uh, fight with the monster. Oh, fuck me! 
Uh. All right. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh no! Uh, I think I need my shotgun. Get off of me, please. Ah, haha. -ha. Oh, wait, no, you're not dead yet. Get off, get off, get off, get off, get off. Off. Oh my god. Could you leave me alone, please? Huh? Okay, he's probably dead. Alright, Brad's dead. I'll take the card case, sure. Uh, have we got anything to heal with? Yes, I will use that to heal. Why did I need this card case? Oh well, it doesn't matter. Into the police station we go. And it is, as I should expect it to be, modelled exactly the same as it was in Resident Evil 2. So I'm just reloading everything. Except that's boarded up now. So I'm just trying to figure out how uh, closely uh, together these two are. So, like, whether this is after Resident Evil 2, or whether it's just before Resident Evil 2. I would think it's just before, though, because I think uh, in Resident Evil 2 you can fight um, Super Super Zombie Brad. Oh, hello. Okay, so there's another one here. Also, he's not dead. No, go with that one. Go with the other one first. Then go with him. Then the one on the floor. Yeah, you can't, you can't trick me. What about you? Are you dead? Yeah, you're dead. Okay, cool. So we are all, all dead. Everything's all good. Let's go in here. Oh, no, no. This is definitely after Resident Evil 2 then. Because he is dead. It's R.I.P. off of Marvin Brenner. He's been faintly wounded by zombies. He appears to be holding something in his hand. Marvin's report. September 24th, there are reports of a theft in the municipal building before dawn. A jewel decorated clock at the main gate was damaged. Two of the 12 gems that are installed on the face of the clock are missing. Due to the lack of available officers at this time, I have no choice but to suspend the research of this case. Signed, Marvin Brenner. Based upon an autopsy report of a 42 year old restaurant owner, I've discovered that he is one of the missing gems. He apparently took shelter in the police department at about 10 a.m., where he was shot to death within 10 minutes of having developed the symptoms. Since the city is currently under martial law, we are forced to suspend this case at this time. We'll keep the gem as evidence. Okay. So, where's the gem? Because obviously, I'll need the gem for the clock tower to get into the clock tower and the graven. Is there anything else? Is there anything on... Anything in the lockers? Nope, okay. Alright, well, we'll go through the back door then. Ah! I will take the blue gem. What was that sound? Uh, 
Oh, I don't have a number yet. So I can't do anything with that. So there's a number lock in this room. Okay. So I'll have to come back to this room. Oh, hello. So, by all accounts, this should be a save room in here. With a dark room. And it is! Good job! I like it. I like the consistency. It's good. I, I, I like that. Something I appreciate is just the finer details of well, you're in the same place, so we don't really need to make a new model, do we? Let's put the gem away, because I don't think we'll need that, and put the gunpowder away. What's the card case for? Card of some kind is inside the card case. Stars card, okay. Why do I need the stars card? I need card for stars with Brad's picture on it. I, I assume, oh, hang on, is that a note on there? David's memo. My sanity is at its end. I still can't believe this is happening. We lost another man yesterday. Maya. One of our better marksmen. He saw me panic once we were overrun by the zombies, but he came back to save me. But when the deck came to return the debt, I ran. I can still hear him calling out my name. I can still hear the screams coming from behind. The sound of his flesh being stripped from its bones. I was afraid. Terrified. It's the 27th. The fight to stay alive continues. I took out several zombies who managed to break through the barricades. Now I'm cutting through the chill with whiskey. I'm loading my Mossberg on anything undead. That shotgun's become a close friend of mine. I've blasted many a zombie into fertilizer with it. We've lost 30 men as of yesterday. In three hours, we'll bicker over trivial things in the meeting room. It's a total waste of time. When I finish this bottle, my old friend Mossberg will be returning one last body into fertilizer. Peace at last. I can hardly wait. Yeah, that's probably what I would do. If the zombie apocalypse happened. Okay, up the stairs we go. Oh, hello. Oh, oh shit. Oh no. Uh, okay, let's just equip the shotgun. Get off. Right, let's just make short work of them all. Okay. Alright, well, we've got this. Though that's not a puzzle anymore. Kind of looks like they did just reuse assets from the second one, but I'm not going to blame it for it, because, like I said, it is the same place, so why should they... I need the star's key to access the star's room, okay. Oh, that's barricaded up, alright. Okay, so, we have nowhere else to explore? No, nowhere else to explore in the police station. I'm struggling to believe that that's true, unless, of course, that the pin code is the ID of um, Brad, but I don't think it is. Oh, there is also the room beyond, isn't it, that I haven't checked. Hmm. 
where the liquors were. So I'm just coming back here just to chuck a couple of things in because otherwise it's just going to clog up my inventory. The red ones mostly. Jeez, I already have a full item box at the moment. Oh uh, yeah, that'll do. So I think I've got to go through where the meeting room slash liquor room was in the second one. Which is through the brown door. There's a lot of zombies in here. Come on. I still hear one more. I think I can still hear one more. Nope. Okay. So that's barricaded off, so we can't go that way. So into the meeting room we go. Something new. Stars card, okay. So there's nothing else around. What about behind? Shotgun shells, sure, why not? Is that it? Seems that that's it. Okay, so we've got two stars cards. Um so what else do we need? Can I combine them? Nope, okay. With Jill's picture on it, okay. Oh, that's the dead end, isn't it? Okay, so what do I need the stars cards for? It's not like there's a key card access anywhere. Or the lockers are keycard access. Are they? I wouldn't think so, because it was a digit. Hmm. Number base lock. Uh, I can't, I don't know. Okay, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know, so we'll just leave it as that. So maybe, maybe that's it for the police station. Because I mean, it's not, it's not like it's a wide big area. Maybe you're just supposed to come in, get some things and pop out. It certainly seems that way, because I can't see anything else. I'll check around the desk, because there's the computer desk back here, so there's probably a couple of things here, like some bullets, Bull right there, there's bullets, I can see them right there. There we go. Okay, and then type right of there, it's the police station map, which would have been useful to begin with, but oh well, I've already explored everywhere. We use the stars card. Ah, okay. Notice the stars personnel. Due to the emergency, the key to the stars office has been moved to the evidence room. Today's password is 4312. Ah, okay. All right, now we're getting somewhere. All right, 4312. I guess if you had the. If you picked up um, Brad's, then you wouldn't have to go through all that and get jewels. It's four, three, one, two. All right, so we'll we'll do this and we'll go up to the stars office and see what's up there. Four, three, one, two. Four, three, one, two. Four, 
four, three, one, two. And that is the emblem key, which is the star's office key. I'm, I'm definitely, I'm liking this. It's a lot more um, open, more action-packed um, compared to 1 and 2. Um, kind of akin to Aliens versus Alien, um, which is good. Um, but I can kind of see how they, uh, how they drifted off to... Um, Oh, right. There we go. I can see how they drifted off into the deep end of Resident Evil 4. Although Resident Evil 4 is good, it's just not horror-y. Um. Alright, so let's go and explore in here. So what have we got here? We take the lockpick. Yes, sure. Oh, what? That's actually an individual... Oh, man. But she's the master of unlocking. Okay, so that's Rebecca's desk. Large communications device is at a commission. Oh, what have we got here? Oh, hello. Yes, yes, I will. Oh. Ten bucks says that's where the grenade launcher was in Resident Evil 2, which I never, ever, ever, ever found. Facts from Kendo Gun Shop. To the boys of stars, I have some good news for you from my brother Joe. He has finalized the new handgun for official use. It is the M92F Star Special, but he calls it the Samurai Edge. It's the most balanced of the Kendo custom guns, Joe said. If you miss the targets with this, you should carry a teething ring instead of a gun in your holster. The goods will be delivered along with their proper documentation. I'm sure you'll be surprised when you see what kind of ex excellent parts are used for the M92F. I know that you'll want to thank the good people who developed it. Sincerely, Rob Kendo. Okay, so we've got here, it's a desk of Wesker. Fucking Wesker. So I guess I needed the lockpick. Oh, is this the, is that the parts for the gun? Oh, sure, I'll take the bullets. Ah, pair of replica guns, okay. So I think that's all that is in the, oh. But it was out of commission. No. Come to anyone. Our platoon is cut off. No survivors found. This is Carlo. Send in support unit immediately. Okay. We'll just we'll just leave it at that, shall we? Um, so yeah, so basically that's it, I think, as far as the police station goes. So we'll just head on out and explore a bit more of Raccoon City. Uh, we've got one of the gems for the clock tower, which I'm presuming we need both of them to get into the clock tower. Um, so yeah, so we've just got to find it. Oh. Uh-oh. That doesn't sound good. That doesn't sound good at all. Hunters, lickers. Dogs. Oh fuck! He's got a rocket launcher. Let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> yep, nope. Wait, is he gonna follow me or is he just gonna or is that it? He's just pissed off. Oh no, he's following me! Oh he's following me! Fucking Oh Jesus! Oh, fucking hell. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. Okay, so I guess, I guess he's just gonna keep following me forever then. Um, so anyway, so that's it for the police station, so if you like this video, 
please hit the like button below if you want to subscribe to see some more Game Jam material and some more Resident Evil 2. Please hit the subscribe button. And as always, until next time, this is the Game Jam, signing out.